They call them wheels. I got that nickname when I was in sixth grade. One look at Aaron Fotheringham's skills, and you can see why. The sport, I made up the term hardcore city. This local 16-year-old has spina bifida, a condition that's akin to being born with a broken back. Aaron says he's paralyzed from the knees down. I can still feel my toes even. I just can't move them, which is really weird. He started using a wheelchair when he was eight and started hardcore sitting just a couple years later. My brother used to BMX and we'd go to the skate park all the time and I'd just watch him. And then he's like, dude, you should try it on your wheelchair. In the beginning, it wasn't pretty. Well, at first, I'd just start on a little ramp like this and I just I didn't know you had to do it in a wheelie, so I just go and face plant. But wheels was a quick study. It wasn't long before he was trying stuff in his wheelchair no one else had ever done. The back flip. <laughs> Aaron's mom sent him to an extreme sports camp to learn that standout trick. I sent him there to do it because I knew they had a foam pit. It only took him two days, but Aaron landed it. Now it's a trick he regularly does without a soft landing beneath him. I'm pretty much over the flip. Like if I do them, it's not that great of a success for me because I've got newer and better tricks. Most of which continue to make mom nervous. It's very exciting, but it's, it's a little bit nerve wracking and I have seen him crash pretty good. I crash a lot. <laughs> but it doesn't keep this kid from picking himself back up and trying again. Aaron hopes to show others that riding in a wheelchair can be fun. I've been told that I'm an inspiration, but I think if you think that you're an inspiration, then you'll, it'll go to your head and you'll just not be cool. I think it's been wonderful for him, like anybody. I mean, he's found a place to shine. He's found his little 10 minutes in the sun. And the sun isn't setting anytime soon on this set of wheels. Kimberly Terry, Channel 13, Action News. It's gonna work out good. Assault with a deadly weapon. Assigned to U.S. Marshals. He's a documented gang member. I just uh, go up there and knock and talk. Working in conjunction with state and local law enforcement, the U.S. Marshals is using its arm of law to sweep the nation's streets clean of wanted criminals. Hi, is your dad home? Oh, actually, I'm the adult here, so what did you need? The extensive search for Nevada's 38,000 warranted felons, ranging from domestic violence, sexual assault, to murder, can seem simple. You know, here in Vegas, with multiple shift work, it's pretty much hit or miss. But seizing these suspects is not always easy to pull off. And they're not together, so, you know, obviously she's doing the right thing by herself and the kids, and getting himself out of that environment and they haven't been together so we did get some follow-up information that we can uh, you know possibly track him down a little bit later. Locally Operation Falcon is an annual week-long effort to clear the books of Clark County's 1300 most dangerous offenders. He's a documented uh, gang member. But yeah, he has assault with the deadly weapon, uh, aim and fire at a human being. Regardless of the Traffic danger, violation. the job to capture the bad guys won't stop deputies. Yeah, I think there's seven and when the criminals answer the door, they immediately know their freedom is surrendered. Just two counts of felony theft on her. And no one is above the law. Hi, Fabiana. Yes. Yes, we're U.S. Marshals. We have an arrest warrant for you. Not even a mother home alone with her children. I need you to call somebody to take your baby. Okay. So that it doesn't have to go to Child Protective Services. Fabiana calls her brother to care for his niece, but after deputies run his name... The, the warrant came back up, so we're, we're confirming it right now. And if the warrants are good, you're going to have to go down there and get arrested and booked on those two felony counts. Like his sister, the brother is taken to jail. She has a kid, you know, in there that we're going to try to... You know, make sure that the responsible adult, most likely her husband, coming back. The stakeouts can last for hours. His apartment that's closest to Bridgewater. He came down the stairs and he went right up into the other apartment across from. The him. captures will happen within seconds, and by the week's end, 201 arrests are made, including 17 sex offenders and 27 gang members. The work of the U.S. Marshals will, of course, continue throughout the year. But this operation of helping to keep the citizens safe is a mission accomplished. Jonathan Hawkins, Channel 13 Action News. I need a pick-me-upper. Gives you like that energy just to go that extra mile. Like a coffee, a shot of espresso, I want something a little bit more so I'm like, boom. A lot of people grab one to make the workout count. Or before a night on the town. Monsters, rock stars, red lines, endo rush, all that stuff. The choices are endless and everyone seems to have a preference.
I prefer Monster. Rockstar is okay. I'd have to say Monster. But the next time you grab an energy drink, you might want to take a look at the label for two main ingredients. Uh, caffeine is definitely one, and um, uh, taurine um, is another substance. A new study presented by the American Heart Association found that energy drinks containing a combination of caffeine and taurine increase blood pressure in young, healthy people by 10 percent. I believe it. That's uh, definitely a concern. <laughs> I think long-term chronic uh, use of anything that's caffeine containing can increase your risk of uh, high blood pressure over time. The study also says people who already have high blood pressure or other heart conditions might want to avoid these drinks completely. So, is it a concern for those who are always looking for that extra boost? No, nah, I'm not a labor reader much at all. I guess when you're young, it's just kind of like, uh, you don't really care, you're invincible and stuff. It's like the egg. Remember, the egg was good, the egg was bad. And this professional bodybuilder has some advice for her clients that may apply to everyone when it comes to energy drinks. If you're going to try to start doing energy drinks, why don't you try some coffee first? Tiffany Sargent, Channel 13, Action News. Booted off the streets and placed knee deep in a gravel filled compound near Indian Springs. You got a little attitude. Oh, he got attitude on sir, oh, sir. This is a rocky start in order to reshape the rough edges of their criminal minds. They're going to do things our way. The program is used as an alternative to prison. If they want to complete the program, then we'll work with them and we'll work hard. Lieutenant Harold Wickham and his team of drill instructors are offering these young adult offenders a second chance at life in boot camp. Damn. From day one, trainees are disciplined with military-like precision. Everything in the world is going upside down. You don't know who you are, where you're at. Sentenced for felonies from vandalism to grand theft, the program tests these young men. Physically, emotionally. They really help you realize that, you know, you're not worthless and you, you do have something you know, to live for. And mentally. You have to figure things out. Inside, Trainees are merely numbers who are all working hard to regain their good name for when they might return to life on the outside. Let's go! Our recidivism right now is at 24 percent as compared to the prison recidivism rate, which is well over 75 percent. Uh, we're proven. It's a program that works. When failure could mean prison, this is a program of six months of hard labor that can present a life's worth of change. Jonathan Hawkins, Channel 13, Action News. Their fists are forged for battle, and their spirits are fit for the ring. You can't ignore us forever. The little-known 2006 National Collegiate Champs of the UNLV Boxing Club continue to target for more attention. You know, if we keep doing it right, and we keep training hard, and we keep fighting hard, eventually, you know, someone's going to raise an eyebrow. As victories continue to raise the team's stats, and with formidable contenders like Greg Too Smooth Morrell bringing home two national title belts. If we take another national title, it's that much harder to just ignore it. Achieving notoriety will only put another notch in the team's win column. These guys can put it down. Learning, growing, and sparring with the sport's best, like two-time pro heavyweight champion Chris Bird. And it'll, it'll benefit them when they get in the ring and fight somebody. I don't think they're gonna fight somebody on my level, so they should have a, a tremendous confidence going into the to a collegiate match. Funded entirely by private donations. Promoter and trainer Skipper Kelp says this club's longevity is dependent upon public support and by its hungry fighters stepping in and bringing up younger prospects. With that kind of leadership, our program is going to continue to get better. Morell says that type of commitment and heart will lace the team's road to success with golden gloves. I want the team to get as much as you know it can because I'm here for four years, but the team's still going to be here after that. Jonathan Hawkins, Channel 13, Action Sports.